Here we are in Cincy for this AFC matchup between the Broncos and the Bengals. It's going to be rough. It's going to be tough. And you would think this is going to be about the defenses today, Phil. Well, when I hear the words rough and I hear tough, I think of Jim Nance. <laughs> That's and right. Man, he's tough. <laughs> and this is what this game is going to be today. It's going to be rough and it's going to be tough. And I'll tell you, even though I was a quarterback, I love these type of games. Broncos ready to boot it down the field. They stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. They come to the line and it's first down. Johnson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. And it's incomplete. Outstanding coverage on the deep throw, forcing the incompletion. That's why he's... One of the best in the league. He's aggressive. He can take away short passes, but also has the speed and the ability to get back there and knock down those deep ones, too. Flex round! Flex round! Failing to complete that one. So, second down here as they go ground here. Now, cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. Well, when you're going to run the football, if that's your objective, you cannot get frustrated by short runs. You know that it's going to build itself as the game goes along, so keep trying it. formation here for the defense third and seven the pass is off the mark and that's a three and out good timing by the defensive player that time he gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit knocks that football loose offense lines up here Games 20. I guess that's how we're going to be today, isn't it? Uh, we're just going to go for it on fourth down. That time they go for it and they get it. Good job. Here's the first snap after the big play. Green's going to take the handoff now. And that gains a few. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun. Inhales the pass. How do you stop these receivers down? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best.
This play set up by the long gainer. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Hey, good job that time by the safety. He watched the quarterback got in position and knocked that football down. will approach this play from out of the pistol. The play clock's running down. Johnson's got it in the gun. That time the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Ohio, Bill Parcells Ohio. said to me once about Mark Bavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. First and goal, working that left side. And no one is going to catch this one as it goes out of bounds. Second down here. Ball's on the ground. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Inside, and he's home for the touchdown. Anytime you're on the offensive side and you fumble, and the defense picks it up and takes it for a long touchdown, wow, that is hard to overcome. So what a job by the defense. Very opportunistic. Take advantage of those situations when they come up. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. Takes off the tackle. This big return's going to set up his team in excellent field position. Let's round! Let's round! On first down, they run the counter play. They knock them down behind the line of scrimmage. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Ohio! Ohio! Second down following the run. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And tackled down at the 49-yard line. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Looks to his left. Throws a strike. Perfect defense call that time. They allowed the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Running to his right. He stacked up at that point. What a job by the offensive line that time. This running back hit the hole at full speed, and the defense had very little time to react. And that's how he got in the secondary, made a couple guys miss, and gets down here and gets a long run. First and goal. Throws to the right. And there's a sideline pass. Incomplete its rule. Second down coming up. Ohio, Ohio. Has it. Touchdown. 
Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? He made it. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. Waves his arm, and he's going to make a fair catch. up now as a slot receiver. Peyton Manning from the shotgun, looking to go deep. How did he do that? You throw it deep for a lot of reasons. One, you're hoping for the big play, maybe a touchdown, but also you got to think about interference. You can get that a lot of times, but that was a nice throw and catch. going to get set in the slot for the snap. First and ten. Moreno's handed the football. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Manning's back in shotgun formation. Manning uncorks a long pass. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone and it almost gets picked off by the defense. Thomas is a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. They'll run it off the toss. Breaks free, has some space to work with. Finds the sacred sod. Touchdown. Anytime you see a long run for a touchdown, what you got to look for is blocking downfield. Nice job by the uh, wide receivers and everybody hustling, making a block and a long touchdown run. Makes the PAT. Broncos ready to boot it down the field. Jukes him. That'll stop the play right there. It's first down as they head to the line. Throws the pass. Under fire on that throw. Ohio! Ohio! After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Launching it deep. That ball has been picked off. He's brought down. Anytime you're backed up on the offensive side, the quarterback's got to be extremely careful because if you turn it over, you're just giving points to your opponent. That time, a bad decision by the quarterback, and he throws an easy interception for the defense. One last play before the quarter ends. First and ten. And picks up maybe three or four. The Broncos still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. Moreno lined up in the backfield. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. 
getting sacked. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. So they don't have to blitz, and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. I think when Coach Potts, as we look back at him again, when he first took the job, he had to be excited about what he saw on that defensive side. Before he knew he was going to get Peyton, he knew he had the likes of Von Miller on that defense and others. They got good players on the defensive side. They have speed, Jim, you know, and they have a good offensive line, too. So I think the makings of a solid football team were there when John Fox became the head football coach of the Denver Broncos. And then after one year, I think Peyton Manning goes, wow, I like what I see in Denver. A very good offensive line. When you have a good offensive line, that gives the quarterback a chance. And they have him covered up and bring him down inside of the 15. Ohio! Ohio! First down coming up. Going across the middle. That's a gain of eight. Zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. The Broncos come out in the nickel. Just a quick drop back. And he's taken down. You're talking about a bonus. When you get a defensive tackle that can get in the backfield and sack the quarterback, that is something special. Great job that time by the big D tackle. Third and five, looking for an open receiver on the right. And that's going to be a three and out. He's such a smart linebacker. That's one of the reasons why he was able to knock that pass down that time. He diagnosed the play. He saw what it was going to be, got himself in position, and he made it happen. Offense lines up here, looking to the right side and throwing. That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Great coverage there on that pass attempt. You've got to give the defense a lot, of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. Thomas, a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Second and ten. Moreno's got it on the handoff. Well, if you're good running backs and there's not a lot there, you find a way to make some extra yards. Here in the red zone, it's even more important. Thomas is playing out of position in the backfield here. Ball's going to take the football on the handoff, off the draw. First down by the offense in the red zone, and, you know, if you're on the defensive side, you don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. So first and goal to go. Challenging the defenders to the right side. They tackle him for a loss. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. This will be second down. Ball's going to secure the handoff. Over the line. Touchdown. Never be satisfied in the NFL. Players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, take advantage of it. Awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls. Matt Prater is ready to run up and kick this football. at the 18-yard line. Flex round! Flex round! 
First down here. He'll fire it out to the left. And incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. That's interesting. As you watch the receiver trying to make that catch, he knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Goes deep to A.J. Green. Dominique Rogers Cromarty makes that pick off. Steps out of bounds. Give a lot of credit to the defense this time. They got the offense backed up. It's inside its own 20. They're aggressive, and being aggressive gives them a chance to get the interception, and they make it. Nice play. Thomas usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Balls taking the handoff. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Takes the stab from the shotgun. He's looking to the... In his hands, complete. Touchdown. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice he threw it beautifully right on target touchdown the Broncos lined up now for the point after count it Broncos ready to boot it down the field Tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Nickel formation here for the defense. He gets the toss. Running play went for 11. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. First down here after the run. Play action. That pass was hurried. It's now second down. Toss to the outside. They pounce on him there. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Bengals come out. Two tight ends on the field. They fail to convert, and now a change of possession. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Ball's going to take the handoff now. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards.
And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. Welkers in the slot. Second down and nine. Moreno's handed the football. That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it cost his team yards lost. It'll be a third and ten. That reception picks up the first down. Jim, that was some job of making the catch and holding on to the football. You could hear that hit all the way up here in the booth. The Bengals are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Welkers, a receiver in the slot. First and ten. Going deep. Looking for Demarius Thomas. Caught it, but his feet are out of bounds. That was a nice job by the defense. Being alert for the downfield throw. The defensive back in good position. Results in an incompletion. Welkers lined up in the slot. Manning standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. That catch gives them a first down. What a good job of the quarterback that time. He saw the defensive back inside the wide receiver, and he leads that wide receiver to the sideline on that corner route. Thomas is a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. First and ten, and Vontaze Perfect brings him down. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes to get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass they did that time first down here after the completion trying to get it out ball is out oh they cough up the football and the defense takes possession well the one thing we know about the nfl when you have the football in your hands they are going to attack it you got to know that as a ball carrier protect it a lot better formation for the defense here the wide receiver shifting around in motion goes deep to AJ Green could have been intercepted well for some reason this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover too that's not the spot you want to go you want to look underneath or right down the middle Second down after the incompletion. Here's the quick toss to the running back. Breaks free. A game breaker. Touchdown. Now you know why running backs get drafted high because these long running plays for touchdowns, that's what you want. That's what the NFL is about. 
making big plays, and when you get them in the running game, that's like double good. Got the touchdown, got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. Side kick's going to pay off here. Kicking team appears to have the ball. They face first down. And now here's the first snap of the second half. They're going to get him here for a sack. Defensive tackles, we always think of them as run stoppers. How about this that time? He does a great job, gets in there, and sacks the quarterback. A.J. Green with an amazing catch. Man, that was some kind of catch that time by the receiver. Ooh, boy, these receivers, they make quarterbacks look good. You're right. You can throw it off target. It doesn't matter. They find a way to come up with the catch. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. gun eyeing that left side failed to pick up the first down and they'll give the ball back to the other side terrible game management that time by the coach it's three downs it's fourth down what should you do well I think you should punt it he goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position Thomas a tight end but now shifted into the backfield First and ten, Moreno's got it on the handoff. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Moreno lined up in the backfield. Second and five. With two hands, he has it. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. Third and ten. Trying to work that left side. Makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. Thomas is playing out of position in the backfield here. Here's the quick toss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Welker's lined up now as a slot receiver. Manning's going to take it from the gun. Throwing now to his left. And he's brought down right at the 42. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass. Even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. So they get the reception, but it's not enough to move the chains. Third down coming up. Manning's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Manning complete as he finds Welker on that throw. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stopped the offense that time. Yeah. 
Thomas usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. The give to the running back. And he's taken down at the 26, but that's enough for the first down. I think the coach took a little risk that time going forward on fourth and short. Fourth and short in the NFL has turned into one tough proposition, but a good job that time getting it. Moreno's a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Now first and ten. A tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. It's a second and 13. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. Good job that time by the defender. Read the quarterback, he sees the receiver, gets in good position, and knocks it away. Moreno lined up in the backfield. Third and 13, will run it. Here's the handoff. A tackle that had to be made, and that'll set up for down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Field goal try coming up for the Broncos. The kick is good. Jim, they get the field goal at that time, and it keeps the momentum on their side. It's positive energy. It makes you feel good. Now we'll see if the defense can carry it on. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Gresham's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. First and ten. Right side. Tackled at the 18. The defensive end has the outside runs. That's his assignment, and he did it well. Takes on the tackle, beats his rear end up pretty good, and makes a tackle on the running back. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Out of the gun. And he makes the catch just past the first down marker. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all in one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. 15 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. We're back here in this lopsided game. Gresham's move from the tight end position to the slot. The final quarter underway now with this snap. Right where it had to be. They've got him down there. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. That long gain sets them up here on this play. In trouble now. Taking off. The quarterback will protect himself here as he slides to a halt. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. First and ten. The throw to the left. What a catch. Touchdown. What a good job by the offense driving down and getting that touchdown. Even though they're still behind, they're chipping away at this lead. Keeping the pressure on their opponents. We have a review coming from the booth. They went to the booth to review the touchdown, and it was not verified. Ohio, Ohio. The 
quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Second and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Bites off the hit. And he's got the first down. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room. So you got to really drive the football in there. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Touchdown, Cincinnati. I would bet first and goal that the offense about 90% of the time is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it and they get it done. That is power football at its best. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. The receiving team has the recovery. Thomas is a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. First and ten, Moreno's going to secure the handoff. you got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Moreno's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Going to lose yards here. Thomas playing out of position in the backfield here. Third and 11. Ball is snapped and the quarterback tosses it to the outside. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything and it's going to work and they stop the offense that time. The punt team is in place and ready to perform. And a touchback. Flex round! Flex round! First down, offense readying for the snap. Johnson's got it in the gun. Caught and gains about one. Well, not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. The Bengals come to the line with an empty backfield. Forgot to catch the football. You don't see it often in today's game. These gloves these wide receivers wear, my gosh, anybody could catch it. I don't know how he dropped it. Flex round! Flex round! Third down here. Ohio. Offense trying Ohio. to pick up the first. Johnson's back in shotgun formation. Running away from the pressure. He's into the open. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. The defense comes out in the nickel. A.J. Green there with sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. You can't always go for it on fourth and short, but I like this call. They make it, the offense executes, and they pick up the first down. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. 
working that left side. Makes the catch. Good piece of tackle. Now to be a running back in the NFL, you've got to do more than one thing. You've got to be part of the pass game. That was a wonderful job. Catching the short pass and picking up all those extra yards. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. Quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. When you're going against a really athletic defense, there's nothing like reverses and the counter run game because they see it, they go, and you counter it, and that's why it works to perfection. Second and two. Throws to the right. Gain of 16. Good job of the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? They've got a first down now after that catch. Out of the shotgun formation. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. The Bengals lined up now for the point after. And it's a fake. Looking for an open receiver on the right. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but Phil, they fail to get the two. Uh, Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It was a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to haunt them. They're lining up here for the onside kick. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Thomas is usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Falls taking the handoff. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Welker is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Tossing it to the running back. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Well, Jim, they didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. Moreno's a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Manning from the gun. That's over to Welker, and Wes Welker hauls it in. That's a good tackle, and that's a quick three and out. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Moreno's in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. Peyton Manning from the shotgun. Looking to the right side and throwing. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. Well, the defense, they overplayed it. They knew it. It's four down. They took a chance. They guess right. They make the stop, and that's probably going to win the game for the defensive Flex round. side. Flex round. Flex round. The Bengals with an empty backfield look here. Here we go. Ohio. Ohio. Here we go. Ohio. 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 First down and 10. And almost.
throws picked off. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he Ohio, makes a beautiful Ohio. hit to knock the football loose. Quarters formation here for the defense. Second down and 10 looks to his left. Ball's going to be incomplete. A hit knocked the ball out. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. From the shotgun, challenging the defenders to the right side, forces me three and out. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. The Bengals head to the line. They've got one timeout left here in the fourth quarter. Now they take the football onto the opponent side of the field. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. Ohio! 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 Lined up in the pistol formation. Ohio! Ohio! First and ten. The defense... Gets the sack. Every defense is looking for somebody to hit the quarterback, and the best person to do it is the defensive end. What a good job that time by him. Coming up, second down. Goes deep to A.J. Green. Hauls it in deep down the middle. This one could have gone either way. Each side made some spectacular plays. It would come to an end, and what a game it was. What's this one mean to the players and coaches to pull this one out in the end? At any time you win a close game in the NFL, uh, Jim, you need to do that about three or four times a year to make a difference in what you're trying to accomplish. And that is going...